Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. This is Jay. Assalamu alaikum, it's Christy. And we are Mr. and Mrs. Muslim. Here we are from our motel room. Yes. It is Friday evening. They're making our video that we uh, said we were going to make. Yes. Talking about a few things. Yep. Um, I have a terrible itch. <laughs> Sorry. My face is red. My arms are tan. It's been so hot here in Michigan, southern Michigan. It's been near 100 degrees the past three or four days. Yeah, it it's has. been unbearable. Like I mentioned in a previous video that, uh, sorry, I'm holding the camera today. A previous video, having to move all of our stuff in the 100 degree heat on top of my sickness has been crazy. It's been brutal. But we're in the room. Yes. We're in a motel. Are. Things are, you know, progressing. Yes. We. I touched on it again in a previous video where we're staying positive. Definitely. We're being upbeat. We're not uh, having any self-pity. Not at all. And we are sincerely thankful and grateful and we feel absolutely blessed for the donations to our GoFundMe, for the kind words, for the prayers. Yep, all the support. Yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. We, we just cannot thank you, thank all of you enough. We'll never it's, be able to thank you enough. It's, no. It's been amazing. It is amazing. Um, yeah, I was thinking today, and I, I mentioned to Mrs. Muslim that we, uh, it's 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 it is a blessing that we have gotten to know, even just through comments on our videos. So many of you all around the world. No way would I have even just tried to to think that that one day we would be being able to reach and touch millions of people well you know lots of people around yeah. the world mm -hmm. and people that would want to respond back to us and interact with us and things like that this is definitely not something we had ever really thought about or planned um even even before we became muslim i mean making youtube videos and sharing our experience and things with with just anybody in the world that's not something we thought of yeah it's crazy um but back to the subject at hand. We are in our motel room. Mm -hmm. um, we're, this is one of the beds, and there's, there's Charlie. You know, there's my Charlie baby. <laughs> so me and Mrs. Muslim and our son and our daughter, we're uh, getting ready to just relax. We might uh, watch watch a movie together, yeah. and um, we're getting by. Uh, thanks to all of you. Yes, thank uh, you so much. Again, the the generous donations to our GoFundMe. Um, it is a blessing. I feel like all of this, our entire life at this point, our situation, all of it is is part of Allah's plan. It's, I it's all so. been part of the plan. Whether or not, whether there were no financial donations or our situation, I, I feel that we feel that we were meant to connect with all of you, our brothers and sisters. Yes. Um, it's... I'm kind of at a loss for words now. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna pause the video for one second. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we're staying positive. We're moving forward. We have some brothers uh, that have contacted us as far as our housing situation. Um, they are local here in our our Detroit area. Um, they are working really hard and uh, Jazakallah here for what they're doing to try to get us into a, a rental house. I, I just cannot be great. We cannot be grateful enough. Um, hopefully, maybe within the next week, we will we'll find a, a house that we are able to rent. Yes. And because of the GoFundMe donations and all of the support, that is allowing us to do that. It's all of you, the support that all of you have given to us out of the kindness of your hearts. That is what's allowing us and helping us to for my family to have a house, you know, a place and to live, a place stay afloat, and even be where we're at in this motel, the hotel. Room all of this, yes. Hotel. If it wasn't for all of you and the kindness of your hearts, uh, I, we, my I family would not be in this motel yeah. room right now. And our cats, we, I don't know where we'd be. I don't know where we'd be. But I don't want to think about that. You know, like what if we didn't right, have right, the support? Right. We do have it. So we let's. Do. Right. We're so happy. We're right. so happy that that. We're able to be grateful. where we're at right now, grateful, Thankful. and we're we're not set. We're not even sad that we're out of that house. I mean, no, none that, of us are. That video that I, the previous video about a bad omen. Everything is just. It's a different feeling being out of that house. I. 
most of you know uh, Haroon, the American Muslim revert, you know, in his YouTube channel. He's a friend of ours. Yes, he, he is. Drove up here from where he lives down south in he the United States. He drove up here, spent the night at our house, had dinner with us. Um, he had, uh, what were you just saying? <laughs> About Haroon? Yeah. Um, the omen? Oh, you know, Haroon was telling us, he had mentioned to me, he's like, finally, he said, Jay, you just need to let go. Because I was holding on. I was holding on to hope that we could have just stayed in the house we were in. It was a perfect size house for my family, for our cats, our situation. Um, and and all in all, nobody wants to move. Wherever you live, wherever you dwell, it's your comfort zone. Nobody wants to be taken out of their comfort zone. And it took finally, you know, Mrs. Muslim was del delicately trying mm -hmm. to get me to come to terms with, look, we're going to have to move out of here. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Haroon, brother, I love you. Thank you for just yes. Thank you for thank, put, you, Haroon. thank you, Haroon, for what you've been doing to help uh, find resources and materials for us as well. But just for being upfront and straight up with me to say, Jay, you, you just have to give up. Yeah. And he said that a little while ago, and I I thought about him like, okay, that's what I needed to hear. Yeah, he I just you needed to hear it from somebody other than me because yeah. you know it just it definitely yeah. Yeah, Haroon had said at this point, you pretty much, he said, you, you just have to stop fighting it. It's just let go, give up, and pretty much let, let Allah take the wheel and let Allah's plan do what it needs to do. And I don't know if a lot of the viewers know or not, but that is, that's the house my, my parents um, owned that house uh, before they passed away. Mm -hmm. So um, also, I think maybe he was kind of, I mean, I was kind of holding on to it too, but I think he was holding on to it too as a little more of a sentimental type thing because of mom and dad. Yes, for sure. I, I miss mom and dad. Yeah, and, so do I. You know, it just, and nobody wants to move. It's, it was our comfort zone. We mm -hmm. had lived there for, you know, quite a few years taking care of mom and dad and yeah. Mrs. Muslim taking care of me with my illness and also taking care of our children. Um, this, this lady right here is amazing. She's, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. She wears many hats in this life. And I don't know what I'd do without her, honestly. I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't do what I did. Yes. I, I, love, I love taking care of my family and the people that I love. I just, it's what I do. And I will continue to say it till the day I die that I am the blessed woman in this relationship. Um, I, I don't know what, I don't know how Allah feels that I deserve her. <laughs> because I sure don't feel like I do. But anyway, so couple things I wanted to touch on. This is a quick one. Um, I know we've been over this before and many viewers have said I do not need to uh, bring up bring up old topics, but this is just a quick little one. It's about the beard. Mm -hmm. And this is just for the new people, new viewers that, that come across the videos. As you can see, originally I shaved out the middle. I had the long sides, but I am indeed growing it out. So no, no reason to fret. I'm growing mm -hmm. the proper beard. Um, uh, a lot of people have asked, you know, have we applied for assistance, financial help? Absolutely. We've been working on it. It's time consuming. It just takes time. Yes. Like my disability application, that's at 82% now, which I applied for in December of 2021. All the government programs take time. They, yeah. they just take time. And being sick for four years and not being able to work, the main reason I had not applied for disability sooner we didn't expect I was going to be sick this long. Mm -mm. We thought the doctors would have had me figured out my disease or my illness, whatever it is, they would have had it figured out locally. We did not think in a million years it'd be four years later and their doctors are still questioning. They yeah. don't know. So yes, we've applied for disability. We applied for assistance. As far as um, many of you asking, going to the local masjids, the mosques, asking for help, telling our situation. Uh, first, we've been without a car for several weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, in a wreck. It got impounded. It just wasn't drivable. So we've ha we haven't had a car. So it was, I was unable to travel to any of the local masjids and talk to any of the imams and, and, and bring up our situation and ask for help. Um, and, and I hate asking for help. We hate asking for help. Uh, even moving. We didn't ask anybody to help us. We just... We didn't want to burden anybody, even with this, uh, like the GoFundMe page. 
starting the fundraiser and things like that. That was all instigated and brought up by our viewers. Yeah. Many of you are the ones who the brothers and sisters suggested we start a GoFundMe and things because that's not something we really wanted to do. Uh, we didn't want to burden anybody. We didn't even think about doing it. No, actually. it didn't even. We just figured we'll work something out somehow, some way. Yeah. Um, but that that is why we started the GoFundMe due to the viewers, our, our brothers and sisters saying this is what you need to do. Yep. Actually, a lot of the information that's been given to us, offered to us, has come from all of you, the brothers and sisters, to go to the masjids, to go here, check for, ask for help, look mm -hmm. for resources, start the GoFundMe. Again, that's a, that's another piece of the puzzle that thank you without all of you and your support yeah. and information, um, we don't, I don't know what we'd be doing. And suggestions. And suggestions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, take a turn holding this for a second. I don't okay. know if you're able to. Yeah. Oops, I, I'll scoot back. If I don't cover the camera. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, so without a vehicle, um, driving to the local masjids or local mosques, talking to the imams, that wasn't an option. But I had called several masjids in our area, called several mosques. Uh, nobody answers the phone at the mosque. You generally have to, to leave a voicemail, which I did. Every voicemail I left was pretty detailed, uh, explaining it, that our situation was dire. It's an emergency type of situation. Um, if any resources or information are available, please contact us back, my phone number. I didn't get any return calls on, on anything from any of the masjids. I don't know why. That's just what happened. Um, uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. So we talked about researching and getting assistance, things like that. The masjids, uh, I did mention in the last video, again, may possibly that house being just something evil or yeah, bad in that yeah, house. Oh, yeah. And how our kitty cats now are completely different, completely happier. I almost kind of feel as if now, now that things have settled, you know, this happened a few days. We've yeah. been moving now for two or three days. Um, I'm sorry. I know. Uh, it's it almost feels it almost feels like a bit of a a relief something that we're out of the house yeah Am, is it just me no it's it's hard to explain it's just there we of course we did, again i didn't want to be removed from my comfort zone no. but there's a better feeling being out of that place yeah there's i'm not sure why like just everything the aura after everybody's um um, just our, our attitude, mind, yeah, the attitudes, mindset. the mindsets, the, yeah, everything is just different. Mm -hmm. it's Even though we're, different. we're in a motel yeah. and things, but yeah, being out of the house is better. Uh, yeah, something is better. Yeah, yeah it something is. is better. It is. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, let's see. I, I have some notes that <clears throat> this is what I'm looking at that I, I wanted us to talk about. Um, as far as the, the people that own the house, here's a quick rundown. Are we already 13 minutes in this video? I guess so. Okay. Uh, as far as the people, what happened was it was her parents' house. It was Mrs. Muslim's parents' house. We lived mm -hmm. there taking care of them. Uh, their house, they had a reverse mortgage on the house. Um, after, uh, after they had passed away, their, the house went into foreclosure. Mm -hmm. There was a six-month buyback period that you're allowed to stay in the house for six months after the foreclosure to have the option to buy the house back. But we didn't have the funds to, to buy the house back. So the owner of the house, when they took when they bought the house at the auction, they came by, we spoke to them. We said we'd be interested in renting it, this and that. They were fine with it. They mm -hmm. said they would absolutely work with us. And the whole time, the, the whole six months, seven months, we had no reason to believe otherwise. Exactly. They gave us every indication that they were going to work out a lease agreement. They even told us they were going to charge us less rent compared to what the normal, our, our area market yeah. for rent would be. They yeah. would help us out that way. Great. Cool. We, we talked to them. We kept in touch with them. Mm -hmm. We, anytime we said, yeah, come by the house, see what you want, do what you want. Mm -hmm. They came, they did. Come yeah. By, yeah. You know, um, there's my note here. Um, we feel that it's just our, just our opinion that we know a lot of times when a foreclosure happens and, uh, and people have that remaining six months to stay there for the buyback, 
a lot of people end up destroying their houses yeah. out of spite right. because their house got foreclosed, they're bitter, they're, they're spiteful, mad, yeah. they're mad. So they destroy the house. They tear all the copper piping out and the wiring and, and just kick the holes in the walls. We've heard of these stories. So we feel, it's just our opinion, that they were misleading us the entire time. They were telling us they, they were going to work something out with us to rent the house after the buyback period. And I, we believe they said that just in hopes that we wouldn't destroy the house right. to try to sidestep us from being mad or bitter, which wouldn't have happened anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we think that's what it was. They were just pretty much elite, uh, lying and misleading us, hoping that we wouldn't destroy the house then. So at the end of the buyback period, that's when we were informed that, no, we're not going to rent the house to you guys. We're going to ask you to move out. Yeah. So that's just our opinion of, and you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, we're just, these are just questions that we're answering for yes, many of you that yes. have asked. Um, cause again, at this point now, it doesn't matter what happened, how it happened. It's part of Allah's plan. It this happened. is part of the plan and we're not going to question it. We are just moving forward with it exactly. and, and hoping we make the right decisions according to the test that Allah puts before us. Exactly. And that is, that's sincere from, from our hearts. Mm -hmm. Um, and my other little note, uh, we'll try to always do it with a smile. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I think I pretty much touched on the few notes that, uh, that I, I, I wanted to bring up. And again, on all of our videos, uh, in the description is our GoFundMe is mm -hmm. our mailbox address and our email address. And we encourage any of you, all of you. If you want to just shoot us an email, send an email just to say hello. Yeah. Just to just to say hi, whatever the case may be. You know, many, so many of you have reached out to us through prayers, through kind words, through donations. Mm -hmm. Feel free to just reach out to us on a personal level, on an email if you'd like. That's fine. That's why it's there. That's exactly. why it's posted. So, um, with that being said, oh, within the comment sections, you know, of the videos or... or our email if there's any other questions you know things that maybe you've been wondering well why did the landlord do this or why did this happen have you looked into this program you know ask ask yeah, the questions feel free to ask sure we're, we'll be more than happy to answer them mm -hmm. yep we're we're totally we're, we're, open and honest here we're 100 percent so. transparent exactly. so we're nothing to hide nothing to conceal we're exactly you know what this is our see, situation yeah, in our life. This is what you get. What, that is it. This is the package right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we're sharing so much with all of you anyway. You know our situation. Um, not, there's nothing to hide. There yeah, isn't. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, as far as we're concerned, you're part of us as much as we're a part of you exactly, now. Yeah. And it's it's amazing. It's, I, it's a wonderful feeling. It is. Wonderful feeling. It is, a, it is a great it feeling. Is, I, know. I, I am so thankful and grateful. Allah be praised that that Allah brought all of us together through the form of this video. You know, <laughs> through the video brought all of us together. It's just so amazing. You know, my, my calling to Islam through Allah back in March was the first step. Yeah. And, and now here we are. After being together 25 years, I never thought we'd be talking to uh, to yeah. brothers and sisters in islam never, through video never. so apologize for the video being yeah, 18 minutes sorry. long hope it it cleared some things up and just to touch base and uh well we're gonna we're gonna try to keep up with making more videos yeah. and trying to track the progress of how things are going on Definitely. a daily or every other day basis yes we're gonna so. try our best with that being said uh Anything else, Mrs. Muslim? I think that's it. We uh, love you. We love all of you. Thank you again, and feel free to reach out. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Jazakallah hair.